Hi there, what I want to look at today is the LEGO RCX brick and how to program it. The thing itself then comes uh, with a tower. The tower then is an RS232 connector, or at least this one is. There are USB connectors on some of these but mine happens to be an RS-232. I'm lucky I have a computer with an RS-232 output on it, so therefore this will connect in directly. Unfortunately, the software that comes with this is intended for Windows 98 or something like that. You can get drivers for XP as far as I understand, but XP machines, I can't be bothered to get one out just to try this with. So I want to try it with some other way to program it. When the thing comes, if we press the on button, then it will have the little man there, or little person should I say, little person here, uh, and no zeros. Once you've just put the batteries in, it has no operating system in it, so these zeros don't appear. So to get it to be able to program it, we have to use some sort of programming language or sort of programming system. Now it seems that one of the best ones to use for this is, or the one I've chosen to use is BrickX Command Center 3.3. This has a load of blurb about all the different programming languages that you can put into BrickX. BrickX, BrickX. Uh, so that then is quite confusing to me anyway that I don't. And as somebody that understands it, it'll make a lot of sense, but not really to me. I then tried here to download the latest version but it didn't actually work. So I went to this part here that says test releases and clicked on that. And when I did that, I got a list, an index of test releases. Went down to the bottom one here, the latest one, which is 2013 and clicked on it to get the download. So now in my computer, it's going to download this particular file into downloads. Clicking on it then, well clicking on save, puts it into downloads. So now we've got it in downloads, but it's what's called a zip file. It's compacted. So we've got to be able to unzip it as it were. So if we sort of right click on it, we get the option to open. Having clicked on open then, it will put another folder somewhere in the downloads of that particular uh, file or folder. So we need then to double click on the folder to open the folder to see what's inside that. Once we get inside it then, we find that there's uh, other folders inside it and but there's the program that we want to run here called BrickXCCX so that we can easily get to this we click on it left click on it and hold the button and drag it onto the desktop when it's on our desktop it should give us this little icon here which when clicked on will open BrickXCC there's another problem with this though that took me a while to sort out and what we do need is NQC in here. Now the language I'm going to use is not quite C called not quite C NQC and so we need NQC EXE file in here. So to get that there I had to download this into my downloads, open it up to look at the file inside and then drag that into this other file here or this other folder and once it was in that folder then it seemed to operate. So to run the brick then as I said what we need to do or to program the brick is to take the brick and the 
tower, put, connect the tower to the computer, put it a few inches away from the brick, switch the brick on, and then the tower should be able to see the brick. Having done that then, we now want to run the program. So to run the program, we double click on our icon, that will open up this message box that gives us dire warnings that this program isn't uh, verified and that do we really want to run it. So we've got no option, so yes we click run. When we do that it comes up and says it's searching for the brick. So the first thing we have to do is to tell it which brick we're looking for. It's come up with NXT here, we don't want that brick, we want an RCX brick, so we click on there. We can then try clicking on OK, it thinks it's going to look for it on COM1. If we get the dreaded, it hasn't found the brick message, that's this one here, forget what it says, I don't think you can even read it. Uh, something like no connection to the brick and if you continue you won't be able to download to the brick because it isn't connected to it. Uh, so having done that then what we can try again is to click on the down arrow at the side of COM1 and try automatic. If we still get this dreaded message then try on search. I think search did it for me. Of course we've got to have RCX in the box here. So having done that and having been successful it opens the window for the uh, Brick X. It's got loads of icons along the top and little things down the side telling us functions, tasks and something else. Uh, what we want to do though first of all is to check that our brick is actually there. So we click on the preferences icon which is this little one here like a little television screen. Uh, it's the sort of second one on on this box and hopefully that will give us the preferences window and this will tell us that the brick is alive. If it isn't alive then we have to go back again, start again and check that we can get the brick alive in here. Having done that, the next thing we need to do is to download the firmware, or as I consider it, the operating system. So to do that, we go to Tools. Having got Tools, then we find right down at the bottom of, of the window that opens, Download Firmware. That should open up then. We look on there, we choose the downware file, the one I used was firm 0332.igo, so it looks like IGO is the firmware file. And then we should get our four zeros appearing on the RCX. While it's actually downloading, we should see numbers where the four zeros are, gradually counting up, showing us that it's actually downloading. This might take quite a little time which is of course another reason for not taking the batteries out. So having downloaded the, fire, the, the firmware or the operating system as I see it, there's other things that we can now do. Uh, so if we go to file up at the top here, and then it should give us open, and that then will give us the option of opening up uh, one of the files that are in the test release folder and the only one we've got well the only one that should be there is test uh, NQC if we click on that hopefully it will open and in our window we will get the file in here not that this file is very much good but it does at least show us how to get into uh, not quite C so having loaded that, then what we want to do is to test to see if we can compile it. Is that, in other words, is change this from in the sort of English or that we sort of understand into machine language. 
so therefore we click on that here I've put some rubbish into the folder so it does show us that there is an error because of this remove this again and the error goes it doesn't show me that it's actually compiled I can't see anywhere it tells me it's compiled okay but it seems to do so having done that then we need to download it into our brick so when the program's okay we left click on the download icon uh, this is this little blue triangle here which is next to the program number and that should download it into that program number in the RCX I think if it's program 1 it will delete the program that is already there and replace it with this program so that's a quick rundown of where we're going or how I've gone to try and get my brick XCC to operate my RCX brick I've got now to look into a near uh, NQC uh, sort of uh, examples try and find out how to use it seems very similar to the Arduino type of languaging it certainly isn't the drag and drop that the original Lego was but it does give us a lot more flexibility I think for what we want to do so yeah I think I've got this far I think I'm doing okay I'm sure there'll be lots of errors problems with it but at least I've written down what I've done so I can remember what I need to do now then is to work out how how or what I want to do with it something that I can do with the brick one thing I don't think I mentioned probably forgot about it is the Lego remote control which has just the think can operate the motors A motor, B motor, C motor or it can start the programs and stop the programs so if we turn our brick on and we press A up we can see that while the button is pressed the little light appears or the little arrow appears here showing it's going one way press it and it goes the other way and if I want to program then if I press P1 then the little man starts little person starts moving showing us that program 1 is actually operating if I try P3 it might not do anything because it might be waiting for inputs because uh, I'm not too sure what these programs actually do I know that P2 uh, actually uh, P2 or oh, that is waiting for an input uh, so if I press an input on this input then it will drive this motor and an input on here will drive this motor so yeah that's basically how the thing works I'm not too sure if the infrared controller works without the operating system in the brick but I don't want to take the batteries out to test that so that's where I think I am need to design something and get it built into it and then write a program for it so I've moved on a long way well not very far on my Lego journey there's an awful lot more way to go so it's bye now bye